generalization mean? The first one we have to mention. Generalization is the hierarchical way, whatever the way we can design our databases. Show me some recording in progress. Sorry, right? Sorry about that, right? So first, uh, generalization. We can uh, explain this way, right? Normally, ER model. When we are drawing mm -hmm. ER model, there are uh, some uh, hierarchical manner. There are some hier hierarchical manner. I mean, there is a top node and there is a child nodes, right? You can, uh, it's, it's like this way, I will draw it, you can understand. Uh, when we draw some ER diagram, there are some uh, parent nodes in here, and they have child nodes. Likewise, there are some hierarchical manner also. It will be easy to understand the ER diagram properly when we use this concept, right? So, um, as hierarchy is going up, going up, right? We say generalize. We say generalize. We say make a generalize. We say it is a generalized. generalize. I will explain within examples, then you will understand, right? And uh, as we go deep in the hierarchy, right, it can be go in this side also, right? It is say specialization, specialization. I will explain, don't worry, right? Right. This is a hierarchical manner. Hierarchical manner means there is a parents, parents, and there is a children's, Likewise, we say this is the hierarchy, right? <clears throat> so generalization is going up, right? And entity are merged together, represent a more generalized view. Similar characteristics should be there, right? Generalization, we said, uh, a number of entities, there are a number of entities are brought together, brought together into one generalized entity. If there are a lot of entities related to some one entity, we can draw it together, right? With their similar characteristics. And there should be some similar characteristics, right? Let's see some example, then you will understand. Right. Let's see this way. There is a one entity called employee. One entity called employee. And the employee can have the attributes name, uh, employee number, and the city. Right? And there is another entity called customer. And the customer have attributes, name, customer number, city, credit card. These kind of attributes the customer have. Okay, now tell me what are the similar attributes you can see in here? What are the similar attributes you can see in these both entities? Yes. 
Yes, name in name and city have the same attributes. Or you can see the same characteristics they have. Right? Now you can draw the generalization. Now you can draw the generalization. It is like this. Right? You can draw these both uh, entities without these similar characteristics. Salama. Oh, sorry. Draw the both entities without these similar characteristics. Employee. Employee have employee number. Similar characteristics to the Amandine. In here, it has a custom. Customer have customer number and same as credit card. Credit card. Now you can combine these two entities with the, some common entity. You can combine these two. Uh, Entities with common entity. Employee is also a person. Customer also a person. So you can draw the person. Person entity with that similar characteristics. Name and city. That entity have that similar characteristics. A similar characteristics They don't have that. The common person have that similar characteristics. Now you have to combine this. Now you have to combine this. Right, to combine these, you can draw the diagram like this way. You can combine. There can be two or more entities, right? Right? So you can draw this uh, diagram uh, this way also, right? Or you can draw this one as a is a make about the path of a pataluna. You can draw this way also, right? May many come and did not pull up. Let them in the me with the head on the me may cut as a you can draw this generalization part this way or these two ways. That means person is an employee. Person is a customer. Likewise, you can write down. Right? This is going up because we, we already had these two. Employee and the customer. We then, then we uh, design this person part. So it is going up, bottom up, bottom up approach. This is the generalization. Bottom up approach. Api loku eka eka common eka kada ganama api eka bottom up approach and same as the generalization. This is generalization. Got it? Terunad. Yes. Okay. And next one. Next one is the specialization. Next one is a specialization. 
Specialization is the opposite of generalization. Specialization means opposite of generalization. Opposite of generalization. In this, a group of entities divided into subgroups. Subgroups we get into the common entity. Now we have the uh, big group, and now we are going to divide that group. Right? So uh, let's see an example. Uh, right. In our, our faculty, there are six departments. So first we are going to draw a department entity. So these department entity have common attributes. They have common attributes. They have a name. They have a HOD name. And they have their own phone number and email also, right? But there are some differences between these departments also. Uh, let's see some example, uh, the BM, accountancy, IES, and HRM have their own uh, student association. Other two, just, just think, right? Other two doesn't have, right? So they have a similar, some, some different characteristics. So now you can divide this department into that manner. The first one have uh, a IES department. Another one have BM. Accountancy. And whatever, the THM. Oh, right? So they have differences also. They have a lot of differences. They have a student association. The BM also have student association. Accountancy also have student association. Just think, just think, uh, THM doesn't have. Then you can draw this department into this six department. Right? Mother Kadiagana have a bimema specialization karani mokakari department mokakari entity together. Me anitide and atheva tibulo. You can more hurry me all at a venevin vishesha deva the end on. Natha make on the innovation, right? No need to draw. Eva vishesha dea natha me him on the noon. The old department, if, if the old department have a student association, then no need to draw this uh, specialization, right? Whatever the special case should be there. Or, or you can draw THM, have a two specialized area. The first one is um, tourism one. And there is another specialization, hospitality. There is a special case. That's why we, we can draw the specialization. Right now, it's happened top down. Happened top down. We already had the department and we divided into several parts top down. Top down approach. This is specialization. This is specialization. Right, so let's see. This is generalization. So you can see this example that there are two employees and customer and the bottom up approach that is specialization. This is, uh, sorry, generalization. Specialization mean opposites of, opposite of generalization. That means there is a group of entity, we can divide it into subgroups. 
right? That is specialization. Don't worry about the, 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 uh, the middle part. I will explain that one later, right? Don't worry about this, this part. Right. Now let's move to the inheritance. Inheritance. When we use all the above features, when you use all above features, that means generalization and specialization of ER model, in order to create classes of objects, we have to create the classes of objects. When you learn about Java, about object and those things, in object-oriented programming, we need to draw the objects. The details of entity are generally hidden from the user. Some detail, details will hidden from the user. It's happened, right? Now you are using Facebook, but you don't know anything about the database. That is a hidden details, right? This, this process we said, um, the abstraction. This process is, we said abstraction, right? Inheritance means important features of generalization and specialization. Inheritance means some special special uh, features of uh, generalization and specialization. It's allowed lower level entity to inherit the abstraction of high level entity. Now you know abstraction means the hidden process, right? Abstraction is hidden process. So the inheritance mean put there. Now, when you draw the uh, draw the generalization or specialization, there are two parts, right? The this part is the sub sub groups part is a lower level entity. We say subclasses, and the top one is said superclass or high level entity. This high level entity details are hidden. These details are hidden. Never hunger at the end high level. But remember, these lower level entities inherit the attributes of high level entity. Inherit can IT They also can get the entity attributes of the high level entity. I will explain uh, with some example. Right? Right. So, there is a person and they have common attributes. And we can divide it into subclass, that is student and teacher. But they also have some similar, uh, different attributes, role number, and they have employee number, right? We can take this as a generalization or specialization. But there is a special character, special thing, special features. We say the top part, the top part is a high level entity. Or we can say super class. A super class, subclass, or Java, right? And this part is a lower level entity. And those are subclasses. Right? In the ER diagram, in the ER diagram, the high level entity uh, details, high level entity details are abstract uh, at uh, Abstraction. 
right? These are hidden. They were pinned down in a hat, right? And the lower level entities, remember, all these lower level entities are inherent to these high level entities attributes. Minna me a taiti venama me ude kinagi attributes. Ekiani minna me hema there. They can have the name. It's a liyan name, I'm a kiela deno it, right? Age and gender also. The subclass can have the superclass entities also. The same thing happening here. We can get the name. Age and gender here. That is inheritance. That is inheritance. Right? You are inherit your father and mother features. Right? Likewise. Right? right. That is Inheritor. That is inheritor. Right. That is about ER diagram. That is about ER diagram. Right? Right. Do you have any question regarding today's lesson? <coughs> Do you have any questions? The are yeah, doing it. Right. Let's draw an ER diagram together, right? We can do it together. Okay. Let's draw this one. Question number three. I think you have this one, right? Right. Try to draw. Question number three. Everyone should draw.
Denise? <clears throat> Right, let's draw this together. 
right? Right. Avidya store rents the movie to members. Each movie in the store has the title and is identified by the unique movie number. Right. In here, the video store is the company or whatever, the organization. Uh, but they want to insert the details of movies. Right. So what is the first entity you identify from here? Anyone? What is the first entity you identified? Mukha the Palavini entity call a hoyagat. Movie? Yes, the first one is a movie. We identify movie. It's the first one. And it, uh, the store has a uh, in the movie, we have a title, title, and identified by the movie number. These are the main attributes of movie. And they say the movie can be VHF, VCD, and DVD format. Then format also a kind of attribute. Each movie belongs to one of a given set of category. Ah, there can be a categories also. Right? The category. You can draw this category as a entity. Or you can draw this category as an attribute. Right? So, uh, how you get this one? As an entity or an attribute? Attribute type ke the head, the entity type ke the head. Is it? Entity kaki the header. Okay. Any other? Mm. Oh, entity kaki the gunna full one. But, but. Uh, they have only the category name. With the category name, make a with the name out of winner attributes one of the They don't have any other attributes. So this can be taken as uh, it's better one is uh, attribute. May add with the winner one of the category category code. It was a makila kak nani may add just in category one of the kila with the right. It's like a format, like a format. There are only category, some categories. So you can better one is the attribute. You can take it as the attribute. Right. And the store has a name and a unique phone number for each member. Uh, then they are going to store data of uh, members. The member is uh, another attribute. And they have name and the phone number. Each member may provide favorite movie category used for marketing purpose. They can give their favorite movie category. What is their favorite movie category? They can give it to the company just for the marketing purpose. And there are Two types of members. Ah, there are two types of members. Now you can see 
you can draw it as a generalization or specialization because there are two types of um, members, golden member and Brown's member. Golden member have some specific attribute. They have credit card. They have credit card as their attribute. And remember, they can rent more than one movie at a time. And they can rent more than one movie at a time. Bronze member don't require their credit card and can rent only one movie. Right? That is the difference. The gold member have credit card. Brown's member doesn't have any credit card. A member may have a number of dependents with known names. Dependents like Nalu. They have a number of dependents. Each dependent allowed to rent one movie at a time. They just only have a name, right? They just only have a name. Right. These are the main things we have to highlight. Okay. Now let's draw this one. Let's draw this one. Right. Let's draw this one. Right. Right, this is the topic. Okay, the first one. The movie, I highlighted using yellow color, so I will draw it using yellow color also, right? Right. The first entity is movie. Movie. So movie have a title. And movie number. And there is another one, format. And there are different types of format. So it will be a multi-value. Multi-value. Right? And the category also will be a multi-value. Category. And they are going to store data about member. Member. So member have uh, some common attribute. Right? Those are name. And the phone number. Sorry for some noises, right? Whether an input take a sub the Higananga for each member. Each member provide the favorite movie category. I added a pullua favorite movie category. Mokadi Kila Kian, Tamantin and Kian. These are the main thing. Right? So they have two types of members. So we can draw it as a generalization. The first member is a golden member. The other member is bronze member. Bronze member. And golden member have only credit, uh, some attribute called credit card detail. 
but bronze member doesn't have that detail. A one member have a number of dependents. Right, there is another one, another entity called dependent. They have name here, only name. This is about entities of our ER diagram. Now let's draw the relationships between these entities, right? What is the relationship you identify in here? Mukadwala Awagata entity. Any anti, any 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 MA relationship? Mukad Pagat relationship. Movie kai member kai atar mukad relationship. Yes, one of your friends send one relationship. Yes, he and the bad card. What? What's your gun? I don't know more. I don't know. 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 Rent. Yes, rent. I put the all of Nidimate, the bandag in the other. I don't know. Okay, so in here, but remember the rent is the relationship, but there is something in here. The gold man member can rent more than one movie, right? And a bronze member can only get. Rent only one movie, right? So remember, when you draw the ER diagram this way, right? If they are mentioned separate uh, relationships, you have to draw separately. The first one, golden member can rent more than one movie. Or they can rent movies but more than one movie, right? So one golden member can rent more than one movie. One movie can rent by more than one golden members, right? And there is another one, Brown's mem member. They also can rent bronze member can rent only one movie at a time. One movie can rent by more than one gold bronze members. One too many relationship. Right? And there is another one member. Dependent, right? So I will draw that dependent in this middle part. I'm going to make a 
What is the relationship between member and dependent? What is the relationship between member and dependent? Let's ask from someone. This you have to have. Yes, Mukhadapate, uh, member gay. Uh, dependent on the relationship. I can't understand what. I a member may have a number of dependents. Member may have a number of dependents. The member may Dependent on the relationship, pick up on the hand. Oh, yes, this is a tab. Well, oh, but thank you. What kind of dependent other relationship pega? Member can kinma dependent kilatina e the natra relationship pega mukanda. Oh madam. Oh kiya no ko. Member have dependent. What kind of relationship is that? Have. Have. I can hear my lady. Have. Kian no ne hunda do ya dan no ya kian ne. Eka ne ani. Right. How do you put it? Eka se aso na me. Eka se aso na me. I will remove from the class. Right? One class again, I in Kaladana. 189. Right. Uh, this is Kulaha. This is Kulaha. Kiana Balan with the Yagi cardinality because have Kiana relationship pick a cardinality with Kiana Balan. One member can have more dependents, one dependent can have only one member. Yes. Yes, they say Kolaha. We cannot hear you. Uh, many to many, madam. Many to many. Okay, I'll be back. Mm. They say Hatta Tuna. Madam. Why am I going to hear you? Many to many, many to many. Hari, you Right. One member may have number of dependents. One member may have number of dependents. It is more. What one dependent have only one member. 
वन टू मेनी रिलेशनशिप पे का राइट वन टू मेनी रिलेशनशिप पे का राइट एक डिपेंडेंट इज अलाउ टू रेंट वन मूवी एट अ टाइम सो दे आर इज अनदर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डिपेंडेंट एंड डिपेंडेंट एंड मूवी वन डिपेंडेंट अलाउ टू रेंट वन मूवी एट अ टाइम one movie can rent by more than one members this is how we can draw right mata penne iyala gaagba mandinna beha pahama ekko wala andinne ekko mama prashna han nathi nisa oyala andinne neda yana kenukata yandarla dan mama prashna hanu कर डायग्राम फॉर नंबर फाइव डायग्राम फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फोटो मम शाखा you should bring this uh, er diagram as a photograph also okay when i ask you have to show right okay api thara er diagram andinawa puluwang ne unata oyala me wada karan naathi prashnayak thiyenawa hmm let's see so i will give a short break right because i am going to start a new lesson uh, please come at 8 am now 7:40 40 so i will give 20 minutes break please come at 8 am right recording stopped ha huh. okay i will explain how to write cardinality again right uh, after this break come at 8 am i will explain man ai kela denna cardinality daanu kala nidimata yawagena inna
right? Uh, shall I start? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, madam. Okay, but uh, some of your friend asked how to uh, insert these cardinalities. Uh, it's depend on the scenario, right? Eka scenario, eka matamai depend on you. You have to read scenario carefully, right? Oyala scenario eka hari eka kia vanno ne. Dama main make him daanu idhi kela denna ko. Main me example likhe. Read, read the scenario carefully. Then uh, you can insert cardinality in correct way. Right, the first one. In here, they said the uh, golden member can rent more than one movie. One golden member can rent more than one movie. That means golden, a golden member can you put a movie? Go down the then you can put M here, many. And same as other way. One movie can rent more golden members. It's obvious no? there is a movies uh, in the video store. So a lot of people can rent one movie. Jurassic Park. Right? So one movie can rent more golden members. Then it will be one many to many. But they mention browse mem browns members can rent only one movie at a time. One Browns member can rent only one movie. I can mention Recording in progress. One movie can rent more Browns members. One movie can rent more Browns members. Right? And in here, one member can have more dependents. One member can have more dependents. One dependent can have only one dependent. One dependent can rent one movie. One movie can rent by more dependent. Wife have husband. One wife have one husband. One wife have one husband. The other side, one husband can have only one wife. One wife only have one husband. One husband can have only one wife. Let's see another one. Mother. Have children. One mother can have more children. One mother can have more children. One children can have only one mother. One children can have only one mother. Then there is another. Do you understand now? How they have to do in another? They say had the tuna. Madam. Did you understand now? Yes, madam. 
හොඳ කියවන්න අපි දැන් දෙන සිනාරියෝ එක හොඳට කියවන්න සැරින් සැරේ කියවන්න එතකොට ආට මේ ගන්න ගන්න පුළුවන් එතන ඊයා ඩයග්‍රම් අඳින්න ඕනේ දැන් අපි තුනක් යන්න ඕනේ අඳින්න ඕනේ හැම දිස්සම ඇඳලා බලන්න ඇඳපුව හරි කමන ආය අඳින්න දැන් ඔය කියන අන්ඩර්ස්ටෑන්ඩ් හරිද චුට්ටයි තියෙන මහන්සි වෙන්න ඕනේ නිකන් ඉඳලා ඉගෙන ගන්න බෑ කාට නේද මහන්සි දෙකක් මහන්සි වෙලා අඳින්නේ දුකට පුළුවන් වෙයි අපි තව අඳිනවනේ අපි හැමදාම එක ඊයා ඩයග්‍රම් එකක් අඳිනවා මොකද ඒක දැන් අන්ඩර්ස්ටෑන්ඩ් right any other questions any other questions any questions mona hari thiyenawa da tibba tahanawa da nadda padda karanni neda right Now let's move to our next uh, session. Right, this is real easy one, right? No worries, real easy part. Um, this is a theory part actually. Relation data model. Relation data model. Right? Relation data model is the primary data model. It is a it is a primary data model. Right? Relation data model can more than kilo la dalna. Uh, the tables up in it and tables are there. That is a relational data model. And the, it, is, it is a primary one, no? the primary data model. It is used widely around the world. Every person, every person use this model. And up in Baguga Handi Ganagane, Hatra Tuna Hatra Panti Valadi. Right? Everyone use this model. This model is simple, very simple, and it has all properties and uh, capability required to process data with storage efficiency. We can store our data very efficiently in this model. So there are some concepts. There are some concepts. The first one is table, table, right? Table. In relational data model, relations are saved in the format of table. We are not tell the table. They are, the new name is relations, right? So in these relations are saved in the format of table. This format store the relation among entities. This, this format used to Uh, entities. A table has rows. You know that. Columns. Right? Where our row represent records and column represent the attributes. Right? You know that. Right? I will draw this one then you can understand better way. Right? Right. Right. Tables. You know that, right? Table. This is the table. This is a table. Right. So we normally say this is relation. Relation. So they have rows. They have rows. It is used to store records. A p a student table like a gatta ekal or ekking ekal ami ekki data tika represent karna, right? Records. And we say this is a column. It is represent attributes. It is correct, no? These are attributes because when we write the table headers like this: registration number, name, address, mobile phone, um, gender. 
right? So, in this column, all details are related to address. Address scale at the main column, make it the end Attributes scale up a key in a right? And this row we called in the relational data model. We, we said some name. What is that name? Did you remember that? We gave another name for these uh, rows. Mukada Pikiwi, row solata. Did you remember that? Yes, tuple. Tuple. We said that is tuple. Right? And uh, let's see other things we can discuss. Right? These are the main things in the relational data model. This is attributes. This is tuples. We said table as a relation, right? These are the main things, right? Relation instance, relation instance. A finite set of tuples in the relational database system represent relation instance. Finite set of tuples. Finite set of tuples. Finite set of tuples can put there. Unlimited. Good dog data theorem, right? Uh, the suitable example is um, Facebook. Other thing, uh, users like details from our anyway, header, it will be change, right? Finite set of tuples. And there are no any duplicate tuples. Rem uh, try, to, try to create a new account, new Facebook account using your existing email. You cannot create, right? You cannot create because there are no, no any duplicate variables. Duplicates nani? Come email ke Facebook accounts they can't have that. No, you cannot, right? Relational data model. Relation schema. A relation schema describe the relation name, attribute, and their name, right? Relation schema gana pigana gatta. I will explain how to draw this schema later, right? So the relational data model, the concept, there is another concept, relational schema. Relation key. Each row has one or more attributes known as relation key, which can be identified row in the relational uniquely. Right. If you if you consider one tuple, if you consider one tuple, there will be a some relational key, unique key. Right. Or like then student table like a that, a student like a special which unique which a kind of my or like a index number, your index number. So it will be a relation key. It will be a relation key. Attribute domain. Every attribute has some predefined value score known as attribute domain. Right? Predefined value score. That means when you when you write, when you draw, uh, when you uh, create your table, you will give your name as a characteristics. You can character kakiela, text kakiela. Your name is a text. Then that is the domain. And you will give your mobile phone number as a number. And there should be a 10 numbers. There should be a 10 numbers. That is the domain. Right? That is attribute domain. Predefined scope. I'm calling you a defined karano. I'm text. I'm number. May numbers or numbers the high you know, likewise we can define. That is attribute domain. Right? These are the concept of our relational data model.
Right. These are the concept of our relational data model. Right. Did you understand these things or do you want to explain more? You can ask. Any, if you have any question, you can ask. Right. Let's move to the next part. Constraints. Constraints. Every relationship have every relation, every table. Relation mean tables, so no? Every relation has some conditions, right? Conditions. There should be some condition to be a valid relation. There's some other you know, the other valid student can there should be constant conditions. Right, you have to talk, you have to do some good presentation, you have to dress nicely. Likewise, there are some different conditions to be a good student. Likewise, Right. So uh, there are some, there should be some conditions should be there. Right. So these conditions are called, we say these condition relational integrity constraints. These condition, there is a, some specific name that is, that is relational integrity constraints. Right. So there are our main three integrity constraints, right? So uh, three uh, integrity constraints. The first one, key constraints, right? Key constraints, I will explain. The second one, domain constraints. And last one, referential integrity constraints. Right. The first one, key constraints. Second one, domain constraints. The last one, referential integrity constraints. Right? Let's start from the first one. Right? Let's start from the first one. Key constraints. Key constraints. Right? So key, key constraints, there must be, they at least, one minimal subset of attributes in the relation, right? It, it should be helped to identify the tuple uniquely. We can make a table like a table like we can make minimal subset of attributes. Or do my pramane king attributes are a kakarithi and only may relationship peke thin variables. Uh, separately, uniquely identify Karaganda. There must be at least one minimal subset of attribute in the relation which can be identified tuple uniquely. I will explain uh, with an example. This minimal subset of attribute is called key. Key. Right? Key. So let's let's do this one. Let's do this one. I will explain in this way, right? Right. Let's take this one. Uh, this is the student table. So they have index number. 
they have registration number they have name age gender and uh, address right so using just think about your data your details right then how we can identify each student separately how we can identify each student uniquely kohomada api lamayekko wen karala metani andura gan what what kind of attributes you can use yes tell me index number yes very good the most important one is index number you can identify some student using index number because they have some unique index numbers for each student ek ek student lade ek ek me uh index numbers tha mai thiyen right so tell me another one registration number Yes, very good. Registration number also same way, right? Your registration number is unique to other people's registration number. Are there any other? Name. Name. Yes, name also can get, but sometimes they are can have a some uh, same name to two peoples. Neither. ஸ்டூடெண்ட் யூசிங் using these three from these three index number registration number and name we can take any value to identify a student but but they when you write this way when you write this way i will take all the all these four together mam me hatara me ekka daragena lame ekko hoyena can you identify that student easily ஹத்தரமதான்னு with this all five you know everything and same as you know uh, that person is a girl or boy then you can find out very easily the data and address you know the address you know where he or she came from so this will be easy than other me okka wedi details ekak dannawa nan ay kisima prashnayak ne tangala ha ganna pulu right so you can take all these six also me haima bavita karala hoyanna pulu thani hoyanna puluwa neda you can take right so there are some subsets there are some subsets you can find out right let's see that mean you can find the details using only index number you can find the details using only index number or you can find the details from registration number also you can find the details these are subsets right me subsets liyena idwal igena ganna mathematics all the first year right 
blame. And you can, some, sometimes you can find out using age also. Then you can find out using age. You can find out gender. And you can find out using address. Right? And some, some person will know the index number and same as registration number. Deka deka dano. And some person know index number and the name. Some person know index number and the age. Or no matter deka deka. Then na then na dano. Then na gaani subsets dano. Ina kita thun de na gaani dano. Kine dano index number ka, registration number ka, name me ka. They know. Tuna tuna. It has a hatara hatara. Paha paha. And finally, there is a six. Likewise, there can be a lot of subsets available in here. Subsets. Minna me vage subsets up to Nyanapuluang go da. We can write. How many subsets we can write? If we have six attributes, how many subsets we can write? Mathematics are the same. How many subsets are the same? How many subsets are the same? They are the same. They are the same. They are the same. They are the same. With the empty subset. The empty subset is the same. So we can write. They are the same. They are the same. They are the same. Right? That means there are the Hatrai, Hatra, the Hatta, the Dasa, Dasa, the Dipiste, Hatta Hatrai, Hatta Hatrai. We can write 63 subset using these six attributes. Ekagani Liano, Dekagani, Tunagan, Hatragan, Pahagan, Hayagani Liano. 63 subset we can write. Harida, did you understand that? If you didn't understand about this, you can ask. Right. So we are, say, these are super keys. Super keys. We said these 63 uh, subsets are super keys. Using all these 63 subsets, we can identify the row uniquely. Uniquely identify Right? Super keys. These are super keys. Right? Right. From that, from that, we can get most suitable, most suitable uh, keys from here. You can take most suitable keys from here, right? Those are making a hundred times again. Like this index number, index number, registration number, and the index number, registration number, and name, right? Most suitable are. Candidate key. Candidate key. Right? And from this candidate key, there is another more suitable one here. From this candidate key, may candidate key will you not know, good. What is the most suitable one? Yes. Me candidate key will not be no good at the maker. You can make a unique mother, Mulu University, Mulu made me when a kanga student lagging, or make a unique. 
What is that? Index number? Yes, your index number. We said that the most, most suitable one, we said primary key. Primary key. The all keys we say is super key. From that, there is some suitable one. That is a candidate key. From that, there is a more suitable one. That is a primary key. That is a primary key. So let's move our. Uh, let's see. At least one minimal subset of app. Uh, attribute in the relation, minimal subset of attribute in the called key, you know that. If more than one such minimal subsets, we say candidate key, right? If there are more than one minimal subset, candidates key. Aduma subset, minimal subsets, candidate key, right? Right. This is the entity. There is a three attributes here. Sorry, three, three attributes here. Employee SSS, employee number, employee name. Write down all super keys. Liana Tagga Lakuma super key sticker. All of them are super key. Liana Vidhi. Write down all super keys. Let's try it together. Take it a little Right. Tell me all super keys. Yes. How the key only? Ah, I can understand that one. Very good. Right. There are three attributes. Then you will have two, three, minus one. After in a ekai, seven. Seven super keys. Yes, tell me. Happy how many keys can I get? Nee, put a nee. Did the kira bala na the poru tika. Har si asu hatta ekak kya? Employee S S M. Employee number. Employee name. Yeah, yeah. Enough, enough. Employee assistant, right? Up here, two number key, up here, two number key. Employee number, employee name. Good. Ah, uh, hard see hat tart. Ong yano, ong yano. Hard see hat tart. Uh, my key is not working. Come on, I put it. Nimesha? Nimesha, tell me one. Nimesha? 
Nimesha. Madam. Eka kiana taweka. Social security number, no? and the other one is employee name. So better to take employee now. So this is how we can take the uh, primary keys, candidate keys, and super keys. In here, you can take uh, employee assistant also. It doesn't matter, right? For any developer, developer one time it's depend. No worries. Very good, right? Right. So these are the super keys in here. 
and from that the minimal subsets are candidate key and the final one is a primary key. That is about key constraints. That is about key constraints. Next one, domain constraints. Domain constraints. So attributes have, normally attributes have some specific values in the real world scenario. Normally, some attributes have the specific value. Now, we discuss about uh, our mobile phone. It should be an integer. So, sorry. It should be, yeah. It should be a number value. And there are only 10 numbers in our mobile phone. Right? Likewise, some attributes have a specific values. Like uh, age can only can be a positive integer. Age negative and bad in the car given. All are positive integers, right? So the same constraints have been tried to employ on the attribute on the offer relationship. Every attribute is about to have a specific range of values. Right? So every attribute has some specific range. Right? So running attribute specific range eka kienama. Right, the first one, the most suitable example is age cannot be less than zero. In the right way, not bad. It should be greater than zero. And the telephone number, there should be only 10 numbers, but these 10 numbers should be zero to nine. So that is meaning of domain constraints. Domain constraints. Some specific are some specific values. Right? That is domain constraints. The next one. Referential integrity constraints. Referential integrity constraints. Right? Referential integrity constraints work on the concept of foreign key. In here, there is a, some specific name, foreign key. Foreign key mean, foreign mean. Peter Kenege, Peter Rade Kenege, Vena Kenege. Right? Anna eka yo vachana atala tiyana. Harida, in here, sometimes we have to combine some two attributes with others, using with others. Others um, attributes. Then uh, students la, you are here, and I am here. Right? In the first year, we don't have any relationship. I don't have any relationship with you because I didn't do any lecture to you. No, I don't have any subject to conduct for you. But now, there is a database management system. Now we can have a relationship. I am the teacher of your subject DBMS. Right? So there is a foreign key. Then we have to take the line. Likewise, there is a foreign key. I will explain this one very clearly in a, a, when we draw the schemas. When we draw the schemas, I will explain. I don't worry, right? So foreign key. It's a key attribute of relation that can be referred in other relation. Right? One entity, one table attribute can be inserted into another relation, another table. That is foreign key. Right? So in your database, now I am... Because I am the teacher of your data, DBMS. Right? Then, I am the teacher of your database. Likewise, referential integrity constraints state that if a relation refers to a key attribute of a different or same relation, then that key element must exit. Right? Don't worry a lot of things about that. I will explain this one very clearly when we draw the schema. Just keep in your mind 
there is another constraints called referential integrity constraints meka mataka diya ganna meka honduthama there api schema ekak andina koda right so there is some example there is a student and student have a student id contact number address and faculty id right now you also have a faculty id you know you are you are a student of fms faculty of management studies and there is a faculty is available faculty id faculty name and number of student so we we take this faculty id from this faculty table faculty entity me faculty ki entity eken api me faculty id ko aalage table ekak daala thiyena so that is foreign key that is foreign key right that is foreign key i will explain don't worry right that is differential integrity constraints right right do you understand about these key constraints domain constraints i know you don't doesn't understand some part of uh, the differential integrity constraints i will explain other two okay or not Yes. Did you understand about key constraints? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any other? Yes, madam. Okay. Do we have any question? Others? Right. Right now, we draw our ER models. We draw our ER model. Then we have a ER diagram. Then make a table. So let it draw the end by data base. Can draw the end. So we have to put that ER diagram into a database to tables. Need it. Database. Can you have a table? Go to okay. Can you do that? So you have to con convert that ER diagram into a different different tables. So we have to know how to convert this ER model to relational model. You should know how to convert this ER model to relational model, right? So. ER model when conceptualized in the diagram right so there are some entity relationship diagram there is a entities and there are some relationships also so this ER diagram can be mapped to relational schemas now you have to know how to ER diagram map to relational schemas relational schemas mean the uh, uh, relational model right schema ke tiyenne oy apita ona karana tables tika thamai hari da andino kada there and there are some several processes and algorithm available to convert er diagram into relational schema there are some algorithms and there are some process to convert this er diagram to relational schema meka hondata bala ganna meka bari uno database hadannawa thamba wenna so you have to listen carefully right so 
Here diagram mainly uh, compares of entity and its attribute. You know the ER diagram have entity and their own attributes and relationship which is associated among these entities. Relationship entities relationship right? So mapping entity. First one, you have to know how to map different kind of entities. How we can draw tables for different kind of entities. Entities are to kohumadapi me kiena vidhiata tables and the ni kiela balamu. Right? So an entity is a real world object. You know, the entity is a real world world object we learn about this. So to map these entities there is a process. Right? The first one create table for each entity. You have to create a table for each entity. Entities attribute should become field of table with their respective data type. Entity attribute should become field of attributes with their respective data types. The entity attributes goda may attributes kiani table ki headers attributes And you have to declare primary key. And you have to declare the primary key. So let's see the example how to draw this schema. For ER diagram. Let's see a small example first, right? right. The first one, I will draw the entity. Student. The entity name is student. And they have roll number, subject, and name. This is the entity, the first entity we have. First one, you have to draw the schema for this entity. You have to draw the schema for this entity. You can draw in this uh, schema in two ways. The first one, you can draw this way. Student as a table. You can draw this as a table. We table The first one, roll number. Remember, use sim uh, simple letters. Use simple letters. That is the thing. the simple Capital But it is better to use simple word, letters. Roll number and name. I will tell you about the name. Subject and class. Right? Subject and class. You can draw this way. Or you can draw this way also. I will tell you about the name. You can draw 
put a student here and put a bracket and write down. You can draw this way. The both are correct. Remember, this is the table name. These are the table name. Right. The first process is correct. And there is another one. Underline the primary key. Underline the primary key. Now tell me what is the primary key of this student table. What the me? Here primary key again may table key the values. Rows uniquely identify karagana pulang with the honey. Uniquely identify karagana pulang with you. Then tell me what is the primary key of this student table? Mm, let's ask from this year this second. Are you there? Two hundred thirty one. They know the they see it is second. Panthe and Thumbang Ainkaladan, what? I kill out the handful on and known. First, you have to develop your qualities. Islam qualities are the gun of the gun of I will remove. Let's see this guy there or not. Wait, I will remove. Uh, let's ask from uh, 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 uh. this year, Panas Hatha. primary <laughs> key. This year, Panas Hatha. Very good. The roll number will be the primary key. Neither the methana, the roll number, the tamai, primary key, a venitra, or like a methana underline karan node. You have to underline. You have to underline. This is how we are drawing the schema for this kind of entity. This kind of entity. I will give another one. Try to draw everyone. And then try to draw the schema for employee entity. Right. In here, you can use both way. I will draw in both way, then you can check. 
first one employee. So employee have a employee number, name, age, birthday, gender. The next one you can draw this one as a employee number, name, age, birthday, gender. Right. Tell me what is the primary key? Employee number. Yes, very good. They select the employee number as the primary key. Then underline that one. Harida, did you understand this one? If you doesn't clear, if you doesn't have no any idea, tell me, ask again. I will explain. Right. Right. Try to draw the ER diagram for this. There are some dif different kind of attributes here, right? Multi-value attributes and the composite attribute, right? There is a multi-value attribute. Uh, it's better to explain before. Maybe explain explain So I will explain. Right. Just think you have a composite attribute. Composite attribute. Right. Just think you have a composite attribute like this. Then how we can draw the schema? Composite attribute Composite attribute. Negative Buno Nikanki and Nuku, where do not come and Composite attribute.
So there is a student, right? Student number, name, and they have multi-value hobbies. It is a multi-value. It's a multi-value. Right. Just, just think and say how we can draw this one. Come with that in How we can draw? We can nikam hard hit nahi dikhe anbar. There is a student. Student numbers and their name. Student number one, Haman. Student number two, Sumi. Student number three, Nayana. Likewise, there are a lot of students away. So multi-value mean the Kamal have a lot of hobbies. Singing, Kamal have lots of hobbies. Singing, dancing. So they'll have uh, some another hobbies. Traveling, collecting stamps, uh, listening music, right? There's a Naina watching movies. Likewise, they have some hobbies. Can we draw the table like this? Apne pura the table lega apne na mere mahadhan. Can you draw? Can't. No, you cannot. Neither. Me table like a kadar ne ba. Ekam asel leke values go daakti hai na. Adi ne ba. You cannot draw the table like this kind of way. So you can draw this way. Hobby one. Hobby two. Hobby three. Then you can put these uh, values in here. Dancing. And they have traveling. Uh, what other things I mentioned? Listening. Reading. Likewise. Can you draw this way? But there will be another person, another student will come to the university and we will put that name for and for name is uh, what? Nirmala. And she has Five hobbies. She has five hobbies. Reading, dancing, singing, watching, and more. You can put a table in the table. And table in the table. No, the table spaces are not enough. So we have to create another column, another column. Likewise, it is, it's, it's kind of a mess. So this cannot be happened. 
So this will be wrong. Did you understand that all? It is wrong, right? Uh, Tulsi Hatta. Tulsi Hatta. Me, 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 me